Hey YouTube, it's been a while. I uh, just kind of stopped trying to be honest. Uh, after the last video I made, I got really frustrated because I still didn't have a way to edit videos because I'm too cheap to pay for a thing to edit videos. Uh, <laughs> actually, I really, really, really thought I had already bought something like three years ago when I decided to do this and now I can't find it and I can't find the receipt for it or anything and I just got really sick of making videos and then being like well I better do this all in one fucking take because there's literally nothing else I can do because I can't edit it um but that hasn't actually changed what's changed is that I just can't not make videos anymore because I really want to be doing this and Everything lately has kind of gotten kick-started in my life again, and I wanted to talk about it really bad. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I got into a fight with my mom uh, about where I am in life, and just mostly, mostly about me staying up till 3 a.m. every night. Uh, yeah, uh, so... This is why I need editing software, because I fucking do the uh, um, mm, shit all the time. But, so we fought about that, and we fought about uh, what I was doing with my life, and she kind of told me that I need to be more realistic, and I fucking hate being told that. Because it's like, in, an, in the way she said it, it's like, you need to be realistic about the fact that your life isn't going to be great, it's going to suck. And you're just going to have to live with the fact that you are going to work at Home Depot for the rest of your life and work on getting full time there. And I'm like, no, mm -mm, not, no, mm -mm. I like my job. I do. I actually think it's a pretty decent place to work, uh, particularly the store I'm at is pretty great. I like my coworkers. I like my bosses. I don't want to work there forever. I'm 24. I, I'm not dead. I don't want to, <laughs> I want to have a life and not just one in this town I grew up in which I hate uh, but I am um, decided I was gonna do something about it and so I started looking into going back to school I dropped out of college several years ago after I had a really bad semester where like uh, I was advised to take business courses by the college and I did and that went real shit like it was the worst. I I failed my uh, intro to business because of a decimal point. A, a decimal point. The one decimal point and it was moved one space to the fucking wrong side and I failed the whole thing. I, like I did everything else correctly. <laughs> like all the formatting I did, all the math I did after that, everything else I did was correct except for that one decimal point and my teacher failed me and I couldn't get over it and I was like what am I doing here I don't know what I want to do with my life I don't I don't know what I want to spend my college fund on because it's it's a ton of I, I have college money and I'm spending it to go to these classes and I, I, I'm nowhere near a degree first of all I was there for two years and I did not get anywhere closer to a degree than I was in like after my first year because I had a whole bunch of red tape to go through just to get into classes that were worth credits. There were a whole bunch of prereqs for the classes I needed and it was ridiculous. It was particularly frustrating because I knew the college had set it up that way so that if you didn't, um, if you didn't get a high enough ACT or SAT score, then you would absolutely have to take kindergarten math. I, I had to start in kindergarten math in fucking college. And it's like, I'm not good at math, but I'm not a moron for fuck's sake. I, I didn't need to go all the way back to adding and subtracting for a semester. I had to do that for a semester. Fuck that. But so I ended up dropping out. And then I went and I tried to work for a couple of years and that was stressful because it was so hard to get a job at the time because I had no experience and I wasn't working anywhere and for some reason in order to get a job you have to have a job and I was super unwilling to work in fast food because it terrified me and I was like that sounds like hell so let's not and that's exactly what I ended up doing and then I've been working for a couple of years and 
and it's just not going anywhere and finally I'm just like I need to do something else I have to do something else I have to figure out what I'm doing with my life because this isn't it <laughs> definitely not and one of the things I've wanted to do with my life is make YouTube videos for a long time, but my confidence has been shit and my follow through has been shit, as you can tell by the fact that I have like three videos uploaded to my channel, actually uh, two because I deleted one because I watched it and I was like, that's awful. I was like, this is terrible. It's not good. <laughs> I need to just get rid of that. And I did. And I kind of regret it because I just wish I'd left it up and sucked it up because that's what so many YouTubers do. They just suck it up and leave all the garbage on their channel so you can see how their train wreck turned into a like amazing success story. And I didn't have the balls to do that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I was looking into film schools because I really love film. I, I've been interested in directing for a long time. I write in my spare time, so I'm interested in screenwriting as well. And I got set up with a um, program nearby that uh, I would work with a Emmy award-winning film editor who owns a film production company, and I would basically uh, intern for him. Um, it's a little more than that and different and there's also like actual coursework. It's an actual class and you get a certificate when you're done um, And I've been really excited about that and I've been looking forward to it, but the truth is um, It seems like I'm just hitting so many roadblocks uh, Somewhat literally uh, there was there was definitely a money problem, but we managed to solve that with loans um, I got approved for loans recently, and I was really really excited about that I keep saying I'm really, really excited. I've been really, really excited lately because in the last two weeks, more has happened to me and like there's been more progress made in my life than in like the past three years. So I, when I say I'm really, really excited, I fucking mean it. I'm super excited right now, but I'm also like stressed because like I said, there's some issues with this. The big issue is I don't drive. I'm ter I was terrified of driving. Um, when I was younger, I used, I, I took driving classes and I was okay, but then I would not have much driving time with my parents. And so they're like, the, in America, where I live, I live in Illinois. So where I am, you have to have X amount of driving hours. You have to have like, you have to have like uh, 40 hours in like good conditions, 40 hours in bad conditions, like a whole bunch of like stuff. Um, or you did when I was 16, I'm 24, so who fucking knows anymore. But you have to have all these requirements and you have to fill out a paper for it and then turn it in at the DMV if you want a license before you're 18. And my family and I decided that that was like not plausible uh, because my parents were both working or then my mother actually got sick, so that really wasn't something that we could do. And so we were like, well, at 18, I don't need anything. I can just go take the test. So I was going to wait till I was 18 and well, I got to 18 and I was so out of practice that I didn't know what I was doing and I definitely wasn't ready to take the test. So I go and I renew my uh, driver's permit and we try to get me in the car, get me practiced, get me ready and I... Um, I just have like I just had this terrible anxiety all of a sudden that I didn't have when I started driving and um, my dad didn't really help because he would only stress me out more because he was a terrible driver himself and I say this and he's actually uh, he drives trucks for a living so that's maybe not the nicest thing to say but it's true he's not a great he wasn't a great driver um, for, for, for teaching someone how to drive for sure um, but then um, I would drive with my grandma, I would drive with my mom, and it just, I couldn't seem to get it together. And it would just give me panic attacks to drive. And I would literally sit there and I would grip the steering wheel so hard that it would make my fingers go numb. And then I couldn't drive properly because I couldn't fucking feel the wheel or anything and it would stress me out and I'd have to pull over and stop. And so then we kind of just gave up for a long time and I didn't really try very hard. And then lately it's been like, I'm 24, I have to, I have to be able to drive. It's, it's ridiculous at this point. 
and that's become a big stopping point in me actually going to this program because it's in Chicago and about an hour away. So the mini solution we found was I can take the train. Um, there's a train relatively close that I could take and it's actually feasible on what I'm making uh, per month. But the big issue there is I still have no way to get from my house to the train and it's longer than a bike ride. It's like 14 miles so it's it's too far to just like walk or anything. It's not super close and there's no bus to the train station from where I am and the truth is my mom works and everyone works and I can't just ask my family to constantly drive me everywhere and so now it's looking like maybe I'm not going to be able to do this and so right now I'm pushing really hard to get my license um which is also stressful but it's something I've wanted for a really long time it's just like I actually get in the car and I have terrible awful anxiety that's like wrecking it for me so I'm I'm, I'm just I'm in a weird place but I really want to make progress in my life and for me, that means getting a driver's license, first of all, because fuck. It's, I'm, I'm fucked without one. I mean, I'm, I'm an adult, and I do not live in, like, a particularly urban area. Like, I'm about an hour outside of urban, and it's just not practical for me not to drive. And two would be actually starting this program, which is pretty big. Um, and then three progress, which is the one that I can actually do something about right this second is making YouTube videos, which is why I'm doing this. I really want this and I'm tired of my procrastination and my anxiety and my hatred of my own fucking voice <laughs> to get in the way of it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing this more. I'm getting serious about everything and... This channel is going to get super fucking active. I'm dead serious this time. Because if it doesn't, I might as well just fucking give up and, and, and 